pretty. You look gorgeous as always. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a day that I slept in till 9.30. Can you believe I slept till 9.30? Boy, when I woke up it was like, oh my goodness, I've just wasted a good part of my day. But apparently I needed the rest. So, because I don't, I don't sleep in. I usually am up by, by 6.30 at the latest. But I, I got up and I fed the chickens, fed the dog. Then it was, then I sat down at the computer to start my comments. And I worked at that until about 11. And then I got a cup of coffee because I thought, gee, I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet. So then I got a cup of coffee. And I watched, actually, I watched um, quite a few videos. And I sat with my cup of coffee, though. I sat and watched Bob Mountain Crest Farms. I watched his, he did a talk on chickens. And, you know, chickens are, I'm very interested in chickens. And I was thinking as I'm watching him, I did leave him a couple questions, and I'm hoping to get an answer to those, which I'm sure I will. And um, I went outside then when Jim got home, it was like five, quarter after five, when I finally was able to get outside, which is really a long day. So I went outside and I asked Jim if he could make me a chicken sign, a, a egg sign, a sign to sell eggs, because I think I better start selling some eggs. I have seven dozen in the refrigerator at the moment. And that's the extra refrigerator. My other refrigerator has one dozen, but it's got not a full dozen because we've been eating those. And so I will put the sign, I'm thinking I will just put the sign out when I have eggs. And when I don't have eggs, I'll go and take the sign back in because I don't have tons of chickens. I do have quite a few chickens. I counted them the other day. And I have, I think I have 22 birds. And that's counting the babies. So, or maybe 23. I don't remember now how many chickens I have. I have a lot. You know, when you're counting them, you count like one, two, three, four, and then they move. And then you go, okay, wait a minute. Now there's a different grouping, so we'll count that group. And then you, then you get to about four or five, and then they all shuffle again. And so then you're trying to catch again. So I ended up writing it down, and I don't remember what I wrote down on the paper, but it's... It was a closer number, I'm sure, to what I really have. But trying to trying to count these birds when they're when they're in the field is difficult. And I even tried counting them when they were coming out the door, and that was that was another crazy because there's maybe two or three that come out and they fly out or they run out or they some will stay in a few minutes and then you go to look and there they go vroom, right by you. So it's it's not the easiest to count chickens. So that's why they say don't count your chickens before they're hatched, I guess. Maybe, I don't know, counting oh. chickens is not fun. But okay. like my eggs, that the reason they say that, no, they say that because like uh, Blackie's been sitting on eggs. She's been sitting on three eggs for sure. And then the fourth one that I put a date on it because somebody laid an egg there and I didn't know when they laid it. So I put a date on when I found it. And I don't know if any of these eggs are viable or not because I didn't candle them. Usually, if they're dark brown, it's really hard to see them. So, I, and she's not a nice hen to try to check, see what she yeah. has under her. So I just leave her be. The only time I move her is if she's on the wrong nest. Then I will move her over. But I probably could have checked the eggs when she did that. But I'm just so wanting to put her back on top of the eggs because I don't know how long she would have been off and I touched the eggs to see if they're still warm and they're still warm so they're, they're still they're still good because I know the birds get off only once a day usually and when they're off something it seemed like silver was off an awful lot and for long periods of time so apparently it's okay because she had five little hatchings she did well I'm going to put a little video in this video and it's going to be, we're going to say hi to Emma. Emma was, when I walked in to go to the garden, I walked through the chicken run because it's like my shortcut. So I came out the, the sliding glass door and I go into the chicken run, said hello to Emma and walked on out the other side. And so I'm going to show you the garden. I'm going to show you the 
spaghetti squash that Granny B gave me the seeds last year and I waited till this year because it was too late in the season to plant it. And I have a spaghetti squash there and it's huge. And I explained that it's that's why you don't want to put too many spaghetti squash plants too close or together. Any kind of squash. Or any squash or cucumber or watermelon or melons, pumpkins. pumpkins. You know, you don't want them too close because they need room to spread out and they like a lot of room. And I also show you that my potatoes, potato plants are kind of underneath the squash and they're starting to show a little bit of browning. When they die a little more, then I will dig them up and I'll show you how many potatoes I get from my one potato. I also am showing you the Hungarian hot peppers and the other green peppers. What are those? I think they are some sort of jalapenos, but I'm not sure. I don't sure. know either. They were supposed to be sweet peppers, but you know, they labeled them wrong at the greenhouse. And then I show you my green, the pepper, the sweet peppers. They're green right now, but they're supposed to be yellow and orange or orange and red. I don't remember which color I've got I think we now. Got orange and red. I don't know because the one package was wrong yeah. so who knows what color we got we'll see in we'll see few when weeks. it's when it's done hi emma 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 you're gonna be in the video today Well, while Jim is mowing, I thought I'd give you a little update on the spaghetti squash. Look at this, Granny B. This is why you only want to put one plant, and hopefully it's got tons of room, because see this area, we've kept it kind of clear because we just put the little bushes that he's trying to grow, which it's they're growing, and the little currant bushes are in there. But this is the, this is the spaghetti plant that I got from Granny. Granny B. And it's got blossoms. And my potatoes that I planted, they're they're in there. They're starting to die down a little bit. When they die down all the way, that's when I will I will dig them up. But they're starting to die. See the they're starting to die. You don't dig them up until they're dead. And I will show you my Hungarian hot peppers. These are the hot peppers. You see, this is what they are, Hungarian hots. They're a really good pepper. If you like hot peppers, as you can see, they're doing really well. Look at this. I have to come out here and pick some. And these jalapeno, I think they are. I have no idea what these guys are. There's some, they were supposed to be sweet peppers, but you know, they messed up and gave us something else. But they're getting loaded too. There's a lot of peppers on there. Then my sweet peppers, let's see what's happening with them. Well, I'm getting a few, but they have to see they're, they're starting in there. But these have to turn either red or orange. They're not a green, I could eat them now if I wanted to, I suppose, but I like them. They're sweeter when they turn orange or red. That's the color I got. But there's quite a few. They're in there. They're pretty big. They're getting big anyways. See the pepper? Then I've been picking my lettuce. This is what is left. And then my Swiss chard, of course. And then my, my seed area. This is where I just let things grow till they produce seeds. And then I gather the seeds from this area. So that's my little update. And of course we have the wood that's brought down because Jim likes to make a fire in our fire pits. He brought this one down. This is one of the this was one of the first ones that we had. This one was a cooking one. And this one's just for fires. Egg, you could cook on it too if you wanted to, but we just do it for fires. I don't know where mm -hmm. I'm at. I, I, I have, I, oh, when I was walking, I had to walk today. When I started walking after working on the computer, 
I had only 120 steps on my pedometer, on my little iPod thing. So I went out and I walked around. I walked the loop of the driveway. And the loop of the driveway, I count my steps. And it's like 200 steps once around. And I, so I just did it. I did it five, no, ten times. Ten times I think I did it. Yeah. And I got 3,000 some odd steps. So I've got 2,000 more to get before the evening. I've been getting my steps. I've been working real hard at getting them. And if I don't have them when it's time to go to bed, I come back downstairs and I do figure eight walks in the back room in the daycare. and Or I have walked the hall upstairs. I will walk back and forth the hall, go into one of the bedrooms, do a loop around and come back out. And I keep doing it until I get my steps. So I'm getting my 5,000 steps. Boy, it's a lot of work getting these steps. I can't imagine getting the 10,000. I'm just, I sit too much. Then I watched a little bit of Pamela's crocheting. I hadn't had a chance to crochet, so I watched Pamela's Adoring Crochet because I, I know her videos are going to be at least 20 minutes to a half an hour long, and so I know I'm going to get some good crocheting done. I look for really long videos. And then I was I went to Vicki Marie's, but I thought I better stop and get this video out, and then I'll go back to Vicki Marie's and watch her. I can't remember her full name, but I know it's Vicki Marie. So I will, I don't know. <laughs> That's the lady's name. The channel name, I don't know. I will put it in the more section so you can find her if you wish to watch her too, because hers was another long one, and I could crochet while I was listening to her. So that's the video for today. I will talk to you all. Oh, and I did win. Before I close out, I want to say, too, I did win the Christmas in July fairies giveaway from, from you didn't know it. No, you went I didn't to that. know that. <laughs> <laughs> I sent an email, too. I even figured out how to send an email, and I'm not good at this stuff. But it was Karina Anna Crochet. I won her Christmas in July giveaway so that means my name's going into this big pot mm. of over a hundred people are in this drawing. Let's let's cross our fingers and hope mm -hmm. I win. Wouldn't that be <laughs> nifty? I can share it yeah. with all of you. But we'll see what happens. So that's the end of the video. <laughs> I guess I, now I'm done. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So have a great night. Bye bye.